two, one, go, go. I don't know if I can edit that out. It's actually really difficult for me to edit these because I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I was not able to... Um, I feel like we are out of focus. Maybe that'll help. So I tried last time, and it wouldn't let me put on a video over an hour, which I thought was weird because my account is actually verified. So I just put it up in two parts. So everybody's home, and I'm going to try to make it look like a real pod, a real vidcast podcast slash thingy. Um, did you want to be involved in this? Yes. Well, then you have to somehow make it over this way. I don't. Which? Jeez. Not violently. That's not going to. No, see, they can't see your face. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Damn it. I'm going to fall. All right. So. We actually found a book that you wanted to talk about. Yeah. And I found the brioche shawl that is on my list. So this is, I was showing Josh, I know the light, the brioche, um, what it looks like. Hold on, because this other picture is stop amazing. Talking. What? You're pulling, and I think that's what he wants you to stop. So look, look at that. Ah! And I love these colors. Position. I love these colors, that bright neon peach and that Every gray. Every time we show it to the screen, it turns us orange, by the well, way. Well, if I do it like that, can I do it like that? Eh, it's still going to turn us orange. That was a disgusting noise. It was, actually. I was thinking that. I didn't even intentionally make it. Let's see if there's any other good pictures. This this is a good picture. Um, Who's that? Someone I don't. Random? It's one of the models. It's a model. But you can really see the brioche orange. pattern. See that brioche? White. That's what the brioche looks like. So this shawl is actually called All About That Brioche, and I prefer it. Because we're all about that brioche, about, about that brioche. brioche. No, Matt Josh. Okay, so we have to now do the thing I was talking to you about for Dan at Bakery me. Bears. Are you ready? Oh. Three, two, one. Eh. 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 How do you do it? Show me how you do it. No. Show me. You said there's different it. ways. He was telling me there Ready? were different ways the other Johnny. day. Eh. Oh, eh. Tyrannosaurus eh. dab. Eh. How does the Tyrannosaurus dab? Oh, wait. Yoda dab. You were doing a Yoda no, dab? No, this is the Yoda dab. See, you don't have enough space. Oh, it's forward. <coughs> forward. And forward. <coughs> That's right. Oh. The best one. Tyrannosaurus dab is my favorite, though. Achoo! Yes. So, we were talking about dabbing because Dan wanted to know how do we dab. And I was like, well, as far as we're concerned, everyone in my house dabs whenever they sneeze. Because, achoo. Why you dabbing? Achoo. Why you dabbing? See? Just like that. Because we sneeze into it. I teach them to sneeze into their elbows. Cause it, and the see, other arm goes up. Like, you can't see it. But, eh, eh. Achoo. 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 It to see it. Uh, well, it's too awkward. And then this is my favorite dab. It's the, I don't care. Eh. I'm not uh, really dab. Uh, I'm too cool to uh, dab. Sunglasses. Oh, and on. we have and the Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan dab right there. Hulk Hogan dab. Wait, we can't uh. see him. There it is. There it is. Hulk Hogan dab. And then the Superman. And Superman dab. Superman dab. And sign language dab. So there's and a lot. Skywalker dab. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh yes, with I the lightsaber. I just made it up. But you have to. Don't you have to put your. I can't even oh. right now. Skywalker dab. <laughs> right. Like you have to put your arm right, your face right. Here. That's right. So I, that's for Dan. We are <laughs> sharing all the dabs. There's a lot of dabbing. Mm, 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 There's so many mm, dabs. There's a lot I, of dabs. I think I could mm. make a video about it. So we may be showing our dabbing out in the world okay. because he asked specifically for people to show their dabbing out in the world, and I thought to myself, you know, that's a Jones family challenge. We are up to that challenge. All right, here's our challenge for you guys. Make up a new dab. You can use your arms, legs, ears, legs. armpit, I don't care. You can use your You nostrils. make it up, tell us what it is, or make a video and link it so we can watch it. I can't remember how he hashtagged it, but it was pretty funny. I'll have hashtag to find the hashtag. Hashtag dabathon. Dabathon. 
Hashtag That's what we need. So ha- there you go. That was for Dan. Hashtag Dabathon. Put it right there in an annotation. Right, 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 right. Uh, on the bot. I don't know how to do that. Because I, I do. Well, but I can't use. Ask him. No, but I can't use the I still iMovie anymore. No, I use YouTube editing. No, you use, like, you I know the board bubbles? The, you put those above. Well, I tried to use the YouTube editing. I'm going to use or the, the children. I'm going to use the children. Yeah, no, I'm good with this. Because I know how to edit. I am not technical. Because I'm totally We're hoping a it's in the iCarly there. No, I'm a totally a YouTube pro. It's because he's 10. So talk about the book. <laughs> anyway, so this is a Craig Westman book. I'm not sure how many books he's actually Weissman. read. Weissman. There Greg, should be. Greg. Greg. Weissman. Greg it Universe. Yes, Greg Universe. Completely okay. unable to understand you Greg, with gum in your mouth. Greg Westman? Weissman. Weissman? Really? Weissman. I'm Weissman. holding it up. Weissman. It's called The Reign of Ghosts by Greg you Weissman. It's all backwards. No, it's backwards to us. It's right. And then I'm going to oh, read don't yell at me. a few okay, sentences. So what it writing. says, Welcome to the Prospero, Key, Prospero the Keys, a beautiful train of tropical islands at the edge of the Bermuda Triangle. No, nah, I have Excuse no idea me. what he just said. Josh, Something about wait, the Bermuda no, no, no. Triangle. No, no, wait. Let me see it. Let me see it. I don't want the whole thing read. Um, exactly. Basically, it's a book that takes place on the Ghost Keys or the Prospero Keys. Prospero Keys? Prospero Keys, right here. Yeah. Like Shakespeare? Prospero. Yes, that's exactly how it's, yeah. Just doesn't know how and it uh, <laughs> follows a girl called Rain. I'm not even going to tr- try to pronounce that rest, n- last name right there. Kasik. Kasik. I'm going to say it's Kasik. Kasik. Rain Kasik. I call it Kaki because I'm white. It's spelled C-A-C-I-Q-U. Kasik. I'm going to say it's Kasik. And uh, basically, her grandpa dies while she's out having fun. And then she's... Uh, is that like in the very beginning of the book? Because otherwise, you're totally telling whatnot. Uh, spoilers from here on. That's, That's not a big spoiler. Don't but say it, anything else. Just say if you liked the book or not. No spoilers. And at the end, no at the end, it introduces mystical artifacts. Why are you doing that? It's and I think there's how many again? Are you just holding on? Yes. Uh, okay. And then the next book, because it has, it, I'm pretty sure a ton of books did this, and. Um, this is not like from 2012, okay? But it's an Spirits old book. Spirits of Ash and Foam? It's called Spirits of Ash and Foam is the next book. So that is it so a trilogy? Weird. Is it two books? Is that connected? Spirits of Ash and Foam. Hold well, on, let me check because well, there's like an the actual... Fire and the Ocean. What is... Ash and foam. Wait, 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 wait. You don't know? I thought you read it. But see, it sounds weird. Like, especially the foam part. But that's like the white I part know, in the ocean. I know, I know. It, it uses Spanish, I believe, as well. Hold on. Let me see this really quick. If you can read, there's a number of artifacts that are involved. I believe it's eight. My butt okay. I'm and not I think about each that. book That's involves two, topic. so I think there's three books, maybe more. It doesn't really say. Okay. Okay. What? We'll have to find out. This is. Copyright 2012. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Silly, you already said that. Uh, he's a comic book and animation writer. And a producer. Hey, that's pretty interesting. Oh, a, a producer of the spectacular Spider-Man and Young Justice. Oh, and he was a creator of Gargoyles. Oh! Nope, I'm done. Oh, nope. and he was a writer and executive producer on Star Wars Rebels, <laughs> which we quite like. So, this book does not have so an So, this age guy range. is... Right? I, I'd say the age range is... It doesn't old, have old an age enough. range Old enough to no, from reading it, my age range would say probably 10 or above. Okay. And, like, there's the map of the ghost keys. Yeah, yeah. Um, and quick nerd nerd fest here of, um... Big writing. Nerd fest here like. of a YouTube channel that I follow. I th- her name... Oh, is this the book one? Oh, yes. Her you name is this. Poland Bananas, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, please... Poland Poland okay. Banana! Okay, is it Pol... And bananas or Poland. Poland. Poland bananas. Okay. Poland hey, wait, bananas. wait, 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 wait. Can you spell Mom. it? No. P-O-L-E-N. Okay, Poland. That's how you Poland. would say it, Mommy. Poland bananas. Mommy, Poland no. banana. Johnny, could you deal with sisters? Minions. And, um. They're fine. They're so, fine. I dealt with them. one of her favorites, <laughs> one of my favorite videos of her is called The Morning Period. And if you've read any book ever that's cliffhanger ever, oh. you will understand it. Okay. So she, all of her YouTube videos are on books, though, right? Here, Jeez, sit by me. Face. Sit right here. Please. Be nice. I'm um, to sit. Sit. My legs are getting tired. So you're not gonna be able to be seen though. Cause and she hard. does things called book there. talks and other fun I can't videos. Really. And book talks are basically about. Sit on me. 
she basically says whether or not it's worth it to read the book. So she can't. She did a book talk <laughs> on all the Cassandra Clare books, to my knowledge. Put your feet forward so I can sit too. Perseus Jackson. Ooh, Percy Jackson. Perseus. Jackson. Who's Perseus? That doesn't make any sense, what you just said. Who's Perseus? Perseus. Perseus. He's not Perseus. Who's the Perseus? hero Perseus. It's Sit actually his name. His I... name is Percy. His, his birth you would name. Refer, you would refer to it as Percy, not Perseus. He's yes. just a, he just does, he's just not a Greek god fan, doesn't understand my reference there. Ah, uh, so but you're making a joke. I, his I birth underst- name is Perseus. I know, but the name of the series is Percy oh, Jackson. Oh, we might have an issue. What is happening? You jumped on my leg. I think oh. we're going to have to pause again. That's not no. good. Okay. okay, go on out this way. But, um... Because I hate that. You are sitting right in front of me, and I don't think you got to sit <laughs> in the middle. Okay, Please. that's... Oh, uh, this is getting yeah, a little bit interesting. Better. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait. So well, that's no, really all I have to mind. say. I was going to make I a joke, but it doesn't clear. Done now, it does, is that right? Not right. Um, I didn't do my projects yet because we got distracted. That's what we were going to do. Did you want to talk about any books? We're going to talk about reading challenge mm-hmm. next time, so if you want to talk about books John, next time, you should time, save all your good. books for the next one because there's a lot. There's a lot. I know, but I can pick out. Okay, just two. tell me what you're reading right now. Matilda. Matilda? Matilda. By who? By Roald Dahl. But who you is ma- Roald Dahl? He's, a, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Go. But you might not know him. I'm holding on really tight. No, it's not funny. But you might not know him, not know the book as a book or or as a movie. You might know it as the movie. Or instead of the book. Or the musical. Or the musical. There is a Broadway musical. We actually, well, you don't. But. One of our friends knows someone that's actually in Matilda on Broadway. Oh, cool. Who does she play? Matilda on Broadway. Okay, calm down. Is she a big person or a small? She's <laughs> a small human because that, she plays Matilda. Well, that's true. Who's Trunchbull? Do you know? No. I don't know. I don't read these books. Do you like? He's so a fool. tell me about Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl was born that, in. Wait, you realize we're actually saying his name wrong, right? But that's okay. Ronald Doll. No, it's no, the it's way the Roald Swedish doll. Mm. The way the Swedish. We're Roald American. Doll. We're not Swedish. Ah. Swedish. Well, then Danish. I think. Like what? I think he's Dan- <laughs> Danish. Don't be rude. That will get you a punishment. Um. They say his name differently. I know, but since we're Americans, we pronounce it Roald Dahl. Maybe we should ask Siri. And which one is your favorite no. Roald Dahl book? I like the BFG. Oh, no, That's Joey. That's your favorite so far? Keep trying. Okay, so we can talk more books next time. Oh, you told me to talk about Roald Dahl. He was born in Wales. There you go. He's dead. That's true. So, beginning and end. Next. The end. He His favorite uh, illustrator is Quentin Blake. Okay. His favorite that's, was that's about Quentin it. Blake. No, no, no. no, I think Quentin Blake is still alive. Okay. Um, no, he. Okay. I that's th- pretty good, actually. Yeah. That's pretty that's good. That's all I know on the, at the top of my head right now. He was an old man. He was also a young man at one point. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna finish up with my knitting projects. And, oh, there was a dab in there. This oh. is like my fifth time doing a dab. It's a dab store. <laughs> No, I'm just acknowledging it. What oh, was okay. that? So I'm going to have you get down and get off my knee because my leg is actually falling asleep. Yeah. And I'm going to show my knitting projects and then we're going to be done for the week. Okay? Yay. Find down. And where will All this be uploaded just out of curiosity? Um, Put my link to YouTube my YouTube channel. channel in the description. Um, maybe. I might do that. So I talked about my socks that are in my Snow White bag. And I also have... So I still have surprise bag with the Knitting Den Kiki Boo bags. Um, That's a cute bag. It's fantastic. It has Christmas tree flocking all over it <laughs> because I did not get that off yet. Um, but this is not finished. We forgot to take I had to Christmas. fix it. It's not finished. Um, Christmas is down. We just have to take the tree out, which is sad. And it, but it. I don't think, I think I have to arrange for a pickup so it gets recycled. Yeah. Um, or we can just fire with it. No, we can't. Torches. Um, okay. I'll take that's that not appropriate. Yes. No, why would we do that? That's silly. Well, I mean. Torches? 
Yeah, so we don't have to even pay. You for mean like light it on fire? Yeah. In the middle of our living room? Yeah. Where there's no fireplace. Yes. We should just put it on the on the tile. Well, I mean, light the tire it on is fire. Not, tile is not flammable. I call it bazooka. Dang it. We can put make a rock circle. You indoors. know, that's a creative idea, but no. It'll smell good. Okay. Burning this pine tree. is. Oh, this has Christmas tree all over it too. This must have just been under the tree. So this is Hanny's yep. sweater that is finished. No, she knows about it. This is her little cardi. We have a it's lot of things all, that need to be blocked. It's all finished. It needs to get blocked. It's have the ends gone. woven in. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put um, like a sweet little button. Oh. You know, just like to keep it closed right here. I think because it add rolls because it's stuck in it. No, I'm just gonna put. If I do it, I'll just put one clasp. Like kind maybe of, one at the top? Kind of like that. Like right in there. It's hard to do with one hand. Dude, I'm still on there. Or at least I'm this like is a Mrs. Crosby yarn. And it's just something I just designed it. Um, no big deal. Both are... Uh, wait. So the main... Oh, Multicolor variegated is a Mrs. Crosby and it's steamer trunk. It's the fingering. And this green is actually, it's actually Mad Tosh. I'm fairly certain that that's a Mad Tosh fingering. I had it for something else and I chose to put that in there. So I have to block that. And I have some other shawls I want to block. So I'm going to do that all together. And then I have my test knit, which I have to show because it's, Kind of amazing. Um, My face is in darkness. No, it's not. I can see you. Shh. You said you would be quiet, Jonathan Jones. I'm sorry. I'm staring at you, and now we can see where the fuzz is. Now we can see where the, the issue is? Yeah, it's at the top, so it's fine. So this is the yarn that I got. It's Cascade 220. It's the purple. Please don't do that. It's the purple. And this is... The worsted weight from last week, I didn't have any worsted weight. And I had to order two. And so I got Cascade 220. It's just the plain worsted. Um, nice purple. And it is. I, it's purple. It's on these little tiny needles. But look, you have to see. Okay, wait. They're on her steak needles. No, but these are fantastic. Look, I have. That needs to be quieter. He's, he you, just turned it off. Is it because you got on the computer when it's his yes, turn? It is. No, that no. is exactly. Look, it's, it's Slimer. I don't know if you can see that. Is it going to focus? Hey, wait. Is that Doughboy? No, it's Slimer. This is Doughboy. And this is my happy Doughboy. It's either see? that for day or I got off when I knew it was time for me. Go, it's happy Doughboy. Doughboy. Wait, wait, can wait. You, see slime? Slime? you can see it in a minute. Don't tap that. It's either that or I got off the moment I was done. And... Wait. Hold on, bug. Last either little thing I promised, guys. It's either I got I off when he was on the computer or I got off this the moment I signed I was done with the arm coming get me. Thank you. Episode. Here is my angry. Look. Wait. Yeah. Move your arms, please, so I can So I'm here. showing this one. I I'm gonna have some, Look it. I'm going to go on the other save files next time I want to fight Scarecrow. Is it going to show? Tonight. Pull it back a little bit. Assuming I haven't already deleted These are from Lemonade Stand board. when she did the Ghostbusters. Oh my gosh, I love Ready? these. And then this one. Wait, which I one do you have? Me, so Stitch I marker. I am. <laughs> and I turn off my thing before I even have the chance. Can you see it? They're so cute. Look, and I have an Ewok. I got an Ewok. Wait, I got. <laughs> Why did he make that noise? That's a weird noise. That's his jumping away noise. Oh, can you see? It's Way, my favorite Ewok. I don't know if you can see that. Don't. There it goes. And I'm hoping that you don't have a problem if I should have to delete it again. I don't know if you can see that. It's focusing on us. Mm. Ah, it's so cute. It's such a shame you can't see it. But yes, so those are from Lemonade Stand. And they are on. Um, so it's, it is a test knit. we got to wait for the color to come back. Jojo, please stop talking, bud. I'm talking to him. I know, but I can hear you over here. We're almost done, okay, buddy? Come here, look at how cool this is. And these are on. Oh, really big see? needles. And now the focus is all wonky. I need to there talk to There it goes. Look at these guys. Is that Snape? It's totally not. It is Loki and Thor. I'm going to need to check. On like, my needles. Let I me need... see that. 
that, well, does, let me see the other one. I need to talk to you guys later about how I'm going to cope with the couple problems. That he I'm has no red cape. And talk he about in front of your he's got, he's got his Thor hammer. Look, there. See, he doesn't need it. He's got his Thor hammer. And these Alrighty. are just straight needles. I actually have a set of cable needles coming. Um, this oh. is uh, going to be a shawl. And it's made with worsted weight and fingering weight. You can see the difference in colors. Gonna be a shawl. Because it's going to get a lot bigger. I've just barely started it. This is a test knit. And these are the other colors that are going in. Um, there's actually five. Whoa. Yeah, it, and they're they're all sparkly, but you can't really tell. Hold on, I got it. Sparkly, sparkly. I'm fading away from the camera. These, yeah, you're so far back. You're sinking. Can you see those colors? No, you can't see me. So these are actually some mini skeins, and Julieta picked these out. Miss Jules picked these out to go with the purple yarn. They're super sparkly. Twenty grams each, and. So hopefully I will have this done next week. Why did you get so short? Because you don't like me being tall. <laughs> That's true. And I hope that my new needles will come. Oh, wait, wait, Mom. This is the last little time I'm going to interrupt you. Put those over just No, like I'm going to put them away. What is it that you need? Put your arm like around my head. Like this? No, the other way. The other way. The other way. You just put my neck. Seriously. Like this? No, like your... Like how? Mm. Uh, is this like an, an almost dab? Almost dab? What if I get your face? No, 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 that's the Sarlacc dab. Get his face, Mom, like this. <laughs> like this? Sarlacc? Yeah, that's the Sarlacc, Sarlacc dab. dab. I don't know how, but uh, it kind of uh, kind of makes sense. I'm not sure what that this was. This is how our family works, by the way. We just make up random things. I'm really not sure what that was. But, um, <laughs> I'm really not sure what that was. Oh no, what'd I'm, you do? I'm trying to fix camera. Oh no. no. Oh no, please, oh no. Okay, please no. stop. Nah. That's not okay. We're having some technical difficulties. Cause I wish that you wouldn't touch it. There. Wonder Woman. So you have, bless you. Thank you. Do you have any future knitting issues? Thoughts? Just your sock head. And actual socks. And the socks, okay. The sapphire socks. Sapphire that socks. That we showed last time that I haven't even undone the yarn yet. Okay, so the very last thing that I want to talk about, even though you said it was just one thing left, I said it wasn't because I want to just chat about our weekend, also podcast, because I have some pretty cool, fun podcasts Oh. that I want to mention. Uh, well, I'm done, except for a question of the day. Okay, what's your question? My question is, what is your favorite type of yarn to knit with? Um, Weight-wise or brand-wise? Both. Matter. Um, probably Mad Tosh DK. I'm kind of a DK I've fan. I've only knitted with Mad Tosh DK, so. <laughs> well, no, because you've used sugar and cream. You've done washcloths. I don't, I don't like, like, yarn that I've actually liked, that does not include. Well, you said I've only knit with it, and that's not accurate. I've only knit a project that I stayed with, with Mad Tosh. Okay. So, Mad Tosh DK. You got the question? Yeah. Like, weight and stuff. And I'm, so you can just talk. Okay, so some of the podcasts, Joey, please stop banging around. He's looking for food, and it's adorable. He's like, um, food. Yeah, because he's almost 17. I need me food. So, I don't do that Atelier, so remember I said, so I found the cutest podcast. So I oh, love international nice. podcasts, and her name is Atelier um, Marinu, Marinuchek. Mar I'm Marinu not sure. I, th I don't know if she's Russian. So she's, she she's, started out she's her Dan podcast. She's Danish. I don't think she's you Danish. You said she's Danish. Well, one time. of the other ones I watched was Danish. The one that you said was super cute that watched a movie, Stolen House. Yes! So she says, she comes on and she apologizes right away. Her English I thought was fine. It's just a little slow in processing, but I understood everything she said. And she says, I learned all of my English from movies and watching YouTube. And I, I thought that was fantastic because I thought, you only see that in movies. You only see people doing that in movies. But this person actually did that. So that was... Wait, so you saw people watching movies inside movies to learn how to, to speak learn how to do in, in, movies. in the movies. But this was a real person. And her knitting is amazing. She's amazing knitting. 
she makes these dolls that she's going to talk about. Um, and glass beads. She breaks up wine bottles and melts what? them down and makes glass bead charms. She's really creative. That's awesome, um, and I should do that. And I mean, very, like, low-key. You should not do that. Um, yeah, so her name is Atelier, A-T-I-L-I-E-R, Marinuchek, M-A-R. I'll have to put it in the show notes. Um, some of the other ones, so I talked about the Hey Sister podcast and the Knitting Den and a homespun house. Everybody knows those ones. Um, that girl speaks. So Sweet Violet uh -huh. is... She's literally so sweet. She made the most fantastic cushion. She got um, some material sent to her from a company, Tilly, Tilia, maybe. I can't remember. But it was bumblebees, and she made it with embroidery, and it was fantastic. It was just amazing. Um, Cherry Heart Crochet, I caught up with. She is making a crochet skirt. I can't Wait, handle what? it. She's making a crochet skirt. What? It's, been, it's just great. Bruh. It's wonderful. Bruh. And it's so cute. And that is not, don't talk to me like Bruh. that. No, it's not funny. I know, you do, I know you do that to be funny, but I don't like it. It's, it's a YouTube meme. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know all My the My mom memes. doesn't know YouTube versus I only know YouTube. So that's how like we kind of interchange. I don't, like, I don't, she teaches me real world. I teach uh, her YouTube. Yeah, meme. but I don't like that meme. I don't, that one's not funny. What YouTube memes are generally fun? Oh, the girls in the yarn cafe. <gasps> and then Hey Sister had Joey, the yarn. No. So I am hungry, Josh. So I might have to go. Um, the girls in the yarn cafe each dye yarn, and one of them has a kit coming out for Easter that the Hey Sister Joey, podcast is. <laughs> How it's long starting. do you hold it? You don't. You're not supposed to hold it for that long. He's just gonna hold yeah, it. I'm stuck. Oh, like frozen dab. Wait, wait, wait. Could yeah. Okay, so I was talking about the girls in the yarn cafe, and we had family issues, so we had to handle that. I can't Joey see your face. hungry. Means you can't see whose face. Oh, Josh, because he's out of it's, it's okay. okay. He's fine. You can just, yeah, I can see him. He's right there. It's fine. Um, Joey was hungry. Yeah. It took over everything. And Pringles are not really that good of a, like, a stay with you. Hey, hey. Gross. Hey. Sorry for interrupting. Mm hmm. I can. But, you know what I really want to do? No. Uh, what I want to do. Rosanna tell people to put their finger here. And if they put their finger here, I'm going to be like, stop touching me. So it's an interactive video. But if you tell people to put their finger put here. Put your finger no, here. No, I mean like here. on the phone. Like right there on the phone. Like and that? Then stop you touching like, me. Stop touching me. You mean you want people to go like this? I, I, yeah. I don't. Under, I don't. Under, on your nose. I don't. Yeah. What? That would, that would be kind of funny. I thought you meant like this for a second. No, don't. I thought he meant like that for a second. No, no, no. I, meant I was like, like, that's an Instagram right thing. Okay, mom was talking about something before we rudely interrupted her. Do, 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 do. Don't do that. Okay. So the girls in the yarn cafe, it's a mom and a daughter. They're much more organized and um, not quite as silly as the 10-year-old. And they both dye yarn. And the daughter is working with another podcaster who I don't know. Her name is Amy, the, the other podcaster. The daughter's name is Tristan, and she has a bunch of different kinds of kits coming out. Different color kits, I should say. And they're for socks. And so get this. The other podcaster has designed the socks around a speckled egg pattern, and it's so cute, but it doesn't come out till April 1st. So... So you're testing While it. No, I'm not. No, I was watching the Hey Sisters podcast that they are test knitting it, and the colors were so cute. 
I was like, I want at least two sets. Ugh. But there's really no way, because I'm a pretty slow, slow knitter, especially for socks. Like the turtle. <laughs> like the turtle knitter. There's really no way that I could have those finished for Easter. Because Easter's right around the 16th, because of Hanny's birthday. You can, make, you can make them Hanny size. 15th. Yeah, but even Hanny size, like, there's really no way. And I have a show in March. There's really no way that I could get those done. Okay. But I might look at the kits. So that was a super fun podcast. Um, I also watched Handmade in Woolen. I'm pretty sure you, And she that was them, fun. Right? No, I watched them on YouTube. Okay. I mean, I listen to them while I do all kinds of other stuff. But some people watch TV. I watch podcasts. That's, you know, I don't do audiobooks because... They take a I really can, long time. Yeah, I can read way faster than audiobooks. I'd rather just listen to a podcast and... And then there's Joey. Get stuff done. I know, right? Um, Espace Tricot, which... It looks like... E-Space Tricot. And it's French. Yeah, I don't know how you say it. But they're pretty... They do a great job with their podcast. They own a yarn store. They're very organized. They know how to do all the tech stuff. So, And they were pretty fantastic. Um, I also really liked Stitching the High Notes. She's an opera singer. And she lives in the Bay Area. Stitching the High Notes podcast. And she sews and knits and does all the things. And there's um, an opera singer. Ooh, that is cool. Yeah. Stitch in, stitched in Sweden. I watched that one. Is that the name? Yes. Because I kind of want to watch it. Pen, Hook, and Needles I watched. Okay, wait. I'm trying to find the other one that was brand new. She only has two episodes. Oh, there it is. So it's called <sighs> Madevik. M A D E Madivik V I K Madivik. She says it Madivik, and I think she's Maid. in Denmark. Holy moly, can she knit? It's spelled. Her find your fade was amazing. It was. I can't even handle how pretty it was. That's a shawl that's trending that people really like. I'm not partial to it. I won't be making it. Uh, partly because I am very bad at fastening. No, I mean, yes, but it's more, this particular shawl, you pick colors that fade into each other that represent you, and I would just get decision fatigue. I, I would, would just I choose would black. Just, I would have too many, yeah, you would. I would just have too much trouble picking colors, putting colors together that work together, finding a yarn that, like, yarns that go together. I'm the kind of person that would do it with a kit, and I'm not doing that it's also a really big v-shaped shawl and it's not so it's not the kind of shape that i would like or i would wear i would probably i can probably do that though um that, you might like it that the new project i'm gonna do that um if i see it but you can't like do it. it just in black can i do it in smoke gray charcoal black would that be smoke? i think gorgeous? you have to pick like I'm seven or eight colors yeah, I'll show him to you. We'll see what he says next time. So it's going to be a, That's a blue, dark blue, gray, charcoal, black. <laughs> you know, I did see a shawl that you might like, a Nightwing. It's based on Nightwing. It probably yeah. isn't Nightwing. No, it's not Nightwing. Batman's the better one, but Nightwing is but always But you know, is second. it a sweater or a shawl? No, it's a shawl. Okay. Nightwing is but... probably my third favorite DC character of all time. And wait, there was one more, two more podcasts. One was called Adelaide's Cottage. Wait, I don't know how often she does that. And the other one, oh my gosh, this one's pretty fun. It's called the Knitter's Party Podcast, and she travels all over the place, all over the place. She, she's, she was, she was talking about Egypt. You have to go and watch her first or second one. She talks about this sweater that she made when she was in Egypt, and it's crazy. That I'd have given up. So I would have given up on this sweater. She took it apart and put it back together. It has lace down the Wait sides. A it was Johnny, supposed to be a cardigan. Mom would have given up on something. <laughs> no, but really, I was ironing something for Dad and listening to her. And I said, I started like talking back to the show. And my husband, uh, Dad, was like, "What are you? What did I'm like? I can't believe this woman with this sweater. It's crazy." And he kind of was thinking that I was obviously the crazy one because I was talking to someone that can't hear me. But, 
So she likes handcrafted beers. And so she talks about them. And she was talking about a Voodoo Donuts beer. And it made me laugh because we know what Voodoo Donuts are. But also, um, she makes amigurumi, which she has a book that I have that I have not started because when I opened it to make some of the amigurumi, I was terrified. There's the ones with the hermit crab and the, um, the, the octopus that I love. And she's made like two of the octopus. She made a dragon, a crocheted dragon that's amazing. And she has this cute little penguin pattern. Anyway, super fun. Um, a little feisty. So if feisty is not your thing, then you probably don't want to watch that one. But, um, Come here. yeah, so that's all. Come here for all the outro the podcast. Is that it for this today? Yes, because this is long enough. I, I can see that. She's kidding. By the way. No, it's long enough. She wants to talk forever. That's, that is I'm, true. That is a, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. That was kind of mean. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, is that it though for me? Yes, I think we're done for today, so I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great every day. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. This Hump day. We're getting through the week. Do, do, Hump of the week. At least and aren't you so, Wednesday aren't, night when aren't I'm recording aren't, this. Aren't you supposed to... Go to the zoo on Wednesday. Because of camel humps? Johnny, what's the shameless plug of the day? What? What's our shameless plug? What is that? Do we have one? Our shameless plug. Should we plug someone? You mean this one? (laughs) Wait, you mean this one? (laughs) Ta-da! Shameless plug. Like the video. Don't dislike it. Subscribe. We're hoping for more videos soon. Is that all? Next week. Next week. Have a great week. Hope you find some inspiration. Happy knitting. Happy Happy knitting. Bye. This is it from Shy. Who's shy? That's us. That's Ooh, us, dude. Wait, We're shy. What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> it's shiny happy yarn. Shiny happy yarn. Is shiny, that happy literally yarn. what you named us? That's so cool. Because it's so. <laughs> he just winds out. Homeschool and yarn. Now. That is so cool. I like that. So say I goodbye, John. Yarn. Bye bye. You're supposed to say goodbye, John. Oh, goodbye, John. Goodbye, Josh. <laughs>